friends. It's me, Miss Woodard. Today, I wanted to talk with you a little bit about our feelings. Because lately, I haven't been feeling like myself because my life is very different. I don't get to go to school every day. I don't get to see my best friends. I don't even get to see my family all of the time. Sometimes it makes me very sad and lonely. Sometimes it makes me feel angry because I can't do anything about it. And sometimes I actually feel happy because I don't have to wake up so early in the mornings. One thing that's been helping me when I have my roller coaster of feelings, high, good feelings, or low, bad, sad feelings, I've been writing in my journal. Let's read a story about a boy named Roberto. And afterwards, if you have a journal, I think it will be a good time for you to write about some of your feelings. Let's find out how Roberto feels in this story, What a Tantrum, by Morel de Lance. What a Tantrum. Roberto has had a very bad day. Take off your tennis shoes, says his father. I think he said that because they were real dirty, weren't they? There they go, says Roberto. Would you get in trouble if you kicked your shoes off like that in your house? Tonight, there's spinach for dinner. Are you kidding? Says Roberto. Go up to your room, says his father. You'll come out when you calm down. I don't think so, responds Roberto. And upstairs in his room, Roberto feels a terrible thing that rises. Rises, rises until... Rah! It suddenly comes out. What is this coming out of Roberto, do you think? How is he feeling? Have you ever felt like you had a monster of rage inside of you? Hi, says the thing. What would you like to do? Wh whatever you want, says Roberto. All right, says the thing. We'll start here. Whoosh! The bedspread flies off the bed with the pillow. Crock! The bedside table. Boom! The lamp. The bookshelf jumps up with all the books. Whomp. And then the thing heads towards the toy box. Wait! Not that, says Roberto. Do you hear me? Stop! Dummy, my favorite truck. I think it's broken. Look what that brute did to you. Don't worry, I'll fix you. 
and you, you get out of here, you beast. Oh, my little lamp. Wait, I'll put you back together. And my pillow, all twisted. And my favorite book. He wrinkled you all up, poor thing. There, that's better. Oh, there you are. Get over here. I'm going to catch you. Straight into the box. And don't even move. here with Roberto. How have his feelings changed? Hmm. Let's look. How was he feeling right here? Mm -hmm. But now, how does he start feeling when he's fixing all of the things that got broken or thrown around? Hmm. Do you think maybe he calmed down a little bit? Daddy, is there any dessert left? That's the end of the story. What do you think might happen next? Well, I brought my journal today because I thought we could take some time now to think about our feelings. In my journal, it's a good place to write about things that I'm mad or sad about. Because if I write them in my journal, then I might not say them to somebody else and hurt their feelings. Because if we yell at somebody else when we're mad or sad, or if we break someone else's things, or make a mess in our house, is that going to make the other person feel good? I don't think so. But sometimes when we're mad or sad or scared or frustrated, we might be able to write about it in our journal and it can help us calm down, at least until the monster that's inside of us feels a little bit smaller. I'm going to write in my journal because I'm feeling really sad today. And I miss you guys so much. Maybe if I write about it, I can make pictures in my head about what's going to happen when we get to see each other again and how much fun we're going to have in English class. Bye, friends.